What's going on, guys? We had a huge rate cut day today at 2 o'clock. The Fed came out and they dropped a 50 basis points, 0.50 basis points. And just as we expected, a nice pullback in the market. We weren't expecting that pop, though. What a beautiful pop. Hopefully, that fake breakout didn't get a lot of people hurt. But we have a lot to go over, and there's a lot to take a look at. So stay focused, pay attention, and enjoy the intro. <laughs> Right, guys we are back we have a beautiful discord meeting tonight it looks like we're our packed house what's up yosef zamora swervo red baron norm jimmy erica dan bob bob dan the greatest moderator alive and of course my boy yo friend the beefiest of stew welcome guys i hope everybody beat the market today i hope everybody did well let's just go over the market really quick so this is the s p 500 um, last night I gave three biases, right? I gave three biases. Two of those were negative. Two of those were that we were going to pull back and that we were going to jet higher afterwards. Those were my two main biases. What actually happened today? Well, the third one, I said, we need to see a lot of volume breaking to the North side. And we did. That's the crazy part. Right when that news hit, the market loved hearing that it was going to have a 0.50 basis point cut. When that happened, the data dropped, the market ripped. Let me throw this on the five minute because I know a lot of us are used to using the five minute to take on volume. So let's look at this. You can see we traded sideways pretty much for one, two, three days here, kind of pushing up into these all time highs, right? Just, just trading sideways, waiting for this news. We finally get the news and we rip up higher. We clear out all of these people. We get all the people that are in that want to be in, they get excited, and then it pulls right on back. Now, there's good news and there's bad news with this. Good news is, that's not really unexpected, right? It's not really unexpected. The bad news is, is we are worried about coming back down and where it's going to catch. That's the only bad news we have here. This was an overall great sign for the market. Not only did we show that we can reach new all-time highs today, but when we pulled back, we held the previous pullback right here, right? <laughs> Hell, if anything, I'm happy that we held this all the way down here at 539. That's not to say we're not going to come back down here and retest this area, but right now, the overall market from this standpoint on the five-minute structure shows that it was baked in and that there is no need for price discovery. Meaning we're supposed to be where we are at right now, okay? Not to mention in the after hours, the market chirped right back up to those previous all-time highs. So uh, in my personal opinion, this is all very, very good. The fact that we are at this resistance area, which let me just blow this up and show you guys. And if you're, if you're not already, look at my screen, we are live. Uh, on the screen. But if I just draw what I like to call the Goldilocks area, right? This is going to be the Goldilocks area. And why do I use this? Well, because we have our highs. Let me actually reduce this here. Okay. So this is the Goldilocks area. These are our highs, right? And these, these are our base lows right here. These are our areas of resistance right here, right here, right here. See the last time it came up into this area, it broke down. And the last time it broke up into this area, it broke back down. Well, same goes when you break an area, it acts as support. As you can see, it broke through this area finally, and now it uses as support. So we clearly know 555 is a very, very crucial area to hold in this overall market, especially after creating new higher lows. We need to see it hold this 21 day moving average in my personal opinion. Now, am I going to just panic sell out if we get down to that 21? No, I want to close below the 21. And if the very next day it pops back up, then I'm, I'm in it to win it, baby. Let's make some money. But I'm going to use that 21 day as my guide. So I am still and will be 100% risk on in this scenario until we break below the 21 day moving average. So that is the S&P 500. That is the leader in the market. And I don't think we need to really 
go too deep down into all the other uh, indices unless somebody has a question about those, um, whether it's small cap or mid cap or, you know, whatever, you know, like this is the small cap, you know, it came right up into its all time hot, uh, not all time highs, but all monthly highs and came right back down. We're going to see pretty, pretty similar um, 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 volatility and things that are happening. Now, if we go to the VIX volatility index, we're back down to 1823, which, uh, is, pre is Predator in here yet? No. Damn you, Predator. Um, he, he gives a, like a shout out of what the SPY is and what the VIX is every day, like every so many hours. And I really like it. Um, uh, but we are sitting at 18. Um, Dan, Bob, what's your, I know there's a certain area. You like it under 20, don't you, Dan? That's what makes like you feel under under what? Under 15. Under 15. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it is trading just above that. And at any time, this thing really could get going, you know, but I would say with that rate cut, with that news, with everything that's going on right now, just this little chirp, not too bad. Um, I'm still pretty comfortable and happy with it. Okay. So overall with the basis point, uh, cut of 50%, do we have any questions that I might be able to answer? Is there anything that you guys feel like uh, that needs to be covered here with it? Um, I will say this: uh, the majority of the time, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a a, a, a statistic here. Okay, ninety percent, ninety percent of the time, when they start cutting rates, that the market likes that. Ninety percent of the time, it starts to head higher. The market likes rate cuts. Why? Because that makes it better for people. It makes it cheaper for people to borrow money. It, it's, uh, it uh, uh, stimulates and glorifies the, the businesses so they can buy and they can sell and they can pay for more labor. It helps just boost the economy anytime it's easier to borrow money. Okay. So with that being said, I am expecting, as you guys always know, I, I always say it pays to be positive. There's a reason for this. I'm going to go to the positive side. I do expect a pullback. Sure, we are at an area of resistance. We are right into that Goldilocks zone where it cannot break through, or if it does, it's not for very long. So if we pull back here, I'm expecting to see a base start to form or a bounce off of a moving average. That would be one of the healthiest things that could happen in this market. That, or if you're afraid of a pullback, some sideways action would be absolutely scrum to the lampious. All right. Um, so w w when we look at this economic calendar here, I'm not even going to worry about what's going on in the near future, but the Fed rate decision, it dropped. The forecast was 5.25. We got the actual at 5%. We're doing good. And I think the market is going to take that in, in good stride. The only negative thing would be they're worried about the job labor market. If he was expecting to do a quarter of a basis point cut and all of a sudden he decides to do a 50 basis point cut rather than maybe last month doing a quarter of a basis and now he's doing a quarter of a basis and he slowly goes that slow roll route. Maybe he is signaling, uh, signaling the alarm bells by saying we have achieved an issue in the job labor market. So maybe we do have a recession coming, but Regardless, it pays to be positive and I would like to stay positive and stay focused on the plan at hand. And that is in the very new future, making not only new highs, but continuing to head higher. We are extended on the 10 day moving average. I pointed that out a few days ago as well. So it, it's healthy to have a pullback because if not, you're going to get one and it's going to be really sharp. It's going to be at the wrong time when you don't want to be buying into these things. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I have three stocks. One is Dell. I'm pretty much break even on Dell right now. Let's see. I'm up, uh, 168 bucks on this thing. Um, at one point I was up nearly 500 bucks. I think on that. I don't even know, but, uh, we I'm, I'm just holding on to it guys. Uh, if you don't remember, I tried to short Dell here for a very small, very small share size. I tried to short it here because it was in its Goldilocks zone for a short and it broke out higher. I waited for it to come back down and retest that breakout area. That's when I bought Dell. Um, this doesn't really go with my RS. I just like the base breakout. That's why I took it. I'm not a huge fan of Dell. I don't think that Dell's going to be a leader. Um, so no, this is not a five-star setup. Thanks for calling me out on that. Uh, we do have CSTL. I took this on a very clear trend break here. I got it under its average daily range. Of course, 
everybody wants to get a better price than what I, I got here. Um, I'm sitting at break even right now on today's pullback and also ANNX. I took this beautiful daily trend break as well. It's now just trading sideways. So we'll see what happens with that. So those are the only trades I'm in. Before I go over the watch list um, that was so graciously given to me by Dan, Bob, and Beef Stewie, we were sitting here for about 30 minutes trying to compile a really nice watch list to kind of keep an eye on over the next few days. What I, what I want to know is, is there any tickers that you want me to look at that you folks are in or that maybe you're, you're looking at before I give you my ticker list? I have about six that I want to go over today, but I want to make sure if you guys have a trade. Jimmy, do you have any trades or anything or any ticker that you want to go over? Uh, not tonight. Okay. Uh, Dan, Bob, you got anything? Erica? It's open house, guys. If you got anything that you want to talk about, you're more than welcome to ask it. I don't want anybody feeling shy or uh, or timid in any way. I want poet. Poet? I don't have my poet shirt on today. Yeah, poet just keeps making these new higher lows, you know, and it's making this beautiful structure. I like it, but you know that that's a hard take because the the moving average that it's trying to follow is the fifty day moving average, but it's not really clean. But it's hard to get away from this type of structure, you know, where you have a beautiful uptrend here, you have new higher lows being formed, right? I don't like this fake breakout and this pullback, but I mean, if it holds this 50 day moving average, it's kind of hard to argue with this price action. It really is. Um, you know, you get big pushes up on volume and pullbacks on lighter volume. So, I mean, <clears throat> I can see why you like this. I can see why you're bringing it up. This is just not a five star setup and I would have a hard time taking it. This does remind me of ANNX though, you know, but ANX has more of a bottomed base before the incline like this as to where Poet um, is more of an, uh, 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 more of an uphill. So, I don't know. I, I, the more I look at it, the more I like it. So <laughs> I have it, I do have it on my watch list, but it's not like, uh, it's. I don't have an alert on it at all because I, I don't want to be uh, swayed to it in any way, I guess. So uh, anybody else, anybody else got any tickers? Or Dan, Bob, did you want to add anything to Poet? The Predator's here. Oh, about time, Predator. Now I got somebody to blame something on. <laughs> Predator, did you take any tickers or anything? Oh, now he's not talking to us. I see how what it about is. What uh, SKY? I didn't blame Mike to work. The mic don't want to work. <laughs> 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 I, took a, I took a shit ticker this morning for some quick profit. Okay. That's all I did. Wait. Nothing. N nothing's following our rules. Okay. That's good. What about, yeah. uh, what about SKYT? SKYT. Yes. Skywater Technology. No, no, I don't like this at all. Um, just because if we zoom out, it's just stuck in this channel. I think I know what you're looking at, though. You're looking at something like this, aren't you? Like this yeah. huge trend. So, so I mean. That it's kind of hard to argue with that, Bob. Especially we got new higher lows, right? Three new higher lows. <clears throat> we got a trend, and we're above a 200-day moving average. This to me needs needs to give me volume through this, and then a pullback. That it, and that's just my my first the first thing I'm seeing. But it's kind of hard to argue with this, Dan. Um, the 200-day moving average starting to curl up. We got volume down here. We obviously have volume down here. We have new higher lows. We're above a 200-day moving average. If this can break through, I mean, it could be something. It moves 4.8%. I just think there's a lot better tickers out there. I really do. That's why it, like, it hurts for me to show you guys Dell because why be in a Dell, you know? Why be in a Dell when you could be in like uh, a NVIDIA? You know, NVIDIA, this thing, I mean, this thing's flagging out. This thing is really flagging out. I think, you know, like another two or three weeks, it's going to give us an answer if it's going to continue on this daily trend or not, you know, as to where like a Dell is not, this thing broke down, you know, like, why am I even playing this? It's not a leader. You know, I might, I might as well just, you know, go give my money to somebody. It was, it's, it's not smart. So I don't really, I don't really like uh, Skywater technology, S K Y 
Uh, I forget what it was now. <laughs> um, uh, I think I got uh, Intel and also Costco. Costco? Uh, uh, yeah. And... Yes. Okay. You know what's funny? I got to tell you guys a quick story about Costco. Look at Costco. So this is something that you were, this is something that you're kind of looking at too, Dan, Bob, you're starting to see these right here. This is beautiful, dude. Like I took this Costco trade and probably sold this Costco trade for like $3, three freaking dollars, dude. And look at this trend, like huge push up, huge pullback, and then it creates this trend. And so that's what you're looking at. Like when you, when you're looking at those trades, this one's just really, really clean. I really like this trade. It even came down. It almost did like this, this, this breakdown, but it was just like so clean in through this. And when it caught back up, oh man, I was like, I got to take this. And I took the, the breakout at 496 or something like that. Um, but I mean, this was a long time ago. It feels like anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, I just did not hold on to this thing for very long. But Costco looks good. Costco is doing really good, especially because that is in uh, the consumer staples sector, which has been on fire lately. So that's cool. Now, INTC, uh, which is Intel, um, I don't like this. I don't. I don't like this stock at all. It's it's pretty crazy to me. Now, INTC is kind of like a Dell in in a certain sense. Um, usually, when they get brought up, they get brought up together, like in a pair. I would definitely say Dell's a better stock to be in than INTC only because of this 200 day moving average. And also the downtrend on this thing. I mean, it, it's not even trending down. It broke its downtrend and now this thing is just tanking. So unless you're trying to do a little bottom fishing down here, I can see a ton of volume coming in over here. It might be something, um, but this, this is just not how I play. So I don't know if you're looking for volatility. It looks like there's enough volatility down here in these bases but it only moves 4.2%. So, um, any, anything else, Swervo, you take any trades today or anything? I know Swervo likes some quick trades too. All right, guys, let's go over a couple of stocks then. Um, remember this is a watch list. This doesn't mean I'm going to wake up tomorrow, scratch my head, drink a cup of water and hit the buy button on these. Okay. If the alert goes off, I'm not going to buy these, okay? If the alert goes off, I'm going to look at it if I have time. I'm going to concentrate on the five-minute time frame. I'm going to ingest the data that it's giving me on the volume, if the volume is there, and I see a pickup on volume that's higher than the average of the past three to five days, then I will take the trade using previous uh, or same day's risk or previous day's risk as my risk, as my stop out. So the, we're going to go over these really quick, guys. I'm not going to waste too much of your time, but I want you to be prepared because I do think if we don't get a pullback, we just trade sideways. These are the stocks that we're really going to want to watch. And, and especially I have a few in here that are the leaders that I really think that you need to stay focused on because if you find the right opportunity to get into these stocks, you need to take these. Uh, you need to take these. Um, it's They're very, very good trades. Um, so we'll see if they set up for you and the way you trade and let's just dive into it. So AVAH, um, this thing has a beautiful push up on volume, a pullback on lighter volume. Um, right now it's a little choppy here, but I like this undercut and rally. It's trying to hold the 21 day moving average. If it can break above this, it might be one to watch. It's in the healthcare sector. Now we have ASTS. I'm a fan of this. Uh, just it's, it's, it's a huge runner, you know, and this can continue to be a leader in the um, communication sector. Now, if you look at AVGO, this is also gonna run like it, okay? I think AVGO is kind of the leader. And if you look at the pattern, it's quite similar. This thing moves up very high, very quick. Now it's got this huge pattern up here at the top. Well, if you look at ASTS, you'll see it's very similar. ASTS has a lot more room to grow though, and it's a much faster mover at 12.9%. So if you're looking at a hot sector that was the communication sector, ASTS should be on your watch list. We have a base breakout area around that $30. So I have my alert set at around 31 to take a little peeky gander at it. 
If we get enough volume to get this thing started on a new trend to the north side, I would like to be a part of it. I've seen a P or a P S I X that is P S I X power solutions. It has this trend. If it can hold this, it's getting really tight. I'm just going to set my alert above this. Um, again, if we look at the S and P 500, I'm expecting a pullback, but I'm not always right. And I want to be flexible. So if the market starts looking like it's making new all time highs and this starts to break out. So that means that this stock is following the S&P 500 and it's not failing. Well, look, lots of volume to the north side. We have this VPC, this volume price contraction on the sell side. Less people are selling on these pullbacks. More people are buying on the pushups. What does that mean? That means it's a good stock and that I want to be a part of. APP is, ticker? yeah, what's, what's up, bud? What's that ticker? Uh, that was PSIX. Power Solutions. P-S-I-X. That is correct. Yep. Okay. I'll just put it in the chat too. So it's in the general no, chat. Um, and then, so the next the next two, the next, yeah, the next two I want to talk to you guys about. So these are what I consider the leaders in the market right now because it did not matter. If you told APP that we were at new all-time highs in the S&P 500, it wouldn't care. If it said that there was a Fed rate decision, it wouldn't care. If it said the market is pulling back 3% today, App does not give a shite. APP, App Loving Corporation, uh, we looked it up earlier, but I'm gonna just read it for you guys right now. <clears throat> it engages in the development and operations of mobile marketing platform. It offers App Discovery Max, Adjust, and Spark Labs. Its software is based platform catered to mobile application developers to improve the marketing and monetization of applications. So this is a big one, guys. I mean, where nobody's going to be done using their phone, more people are going to get into the app creation because everybody's on their phone. It's the easiest way to sell something to somebody. And app is rip, rip, tater chip to the north side. If you don't know about APP, you should put it on your watch list. I'm not saying buy this thing tomorrow. This thing is way extended, guys. Way extended. This thing needs a pullback, and I expect it to pull back. But being the leader that it is, just like a NVIDIA or a Tesla or a whatever, they, they don't just go straight up, guys. They go up, they pull back, they digest. If they show my strategy, a trend or a base breakout on volume, this is where I want to find it. Big push up, a pullback, and then a trend or a base breakout. If we can get that on app, that is what I want to wait very patiently for. We also have PLTR. Now this has been a fan favorite, especially in our channel. PLTR gets brought up a lot. Um, I was given some people shit buying PLTR down here because it doesn't really meet much of our strategy. And then this was brought to my attention, this strategy here. I think B, Stewie, and Kobe, I think Dan, Bob as well, we were kind of talking about this. And then I, and then, you know, I said, you know, I really can't argue with you guys because this is a trend. You can follow that trend. The trend makes sense. It's following a 10-day moving average, and it held pretty well on that 10-day. Um, so that was an interesting one. And then on top of that, uh, I believe PLTR somewhere in this area, so I think nine, nine, couple, let's see, two weeks ago or last week, PLTR got introduced to the S&P 500. So PLTR is a part of the S&P 500, which gave it a huge boost that, that made it extremely excited for investors. And it actually had follow through on that. I wasn't expecting that because when it gapped up, it gapped up into this area of resistance. So PLTR is uh, beating the odds right now. It's it, When the market pulls back, it's doing good. It's RS is very, very top. The only thing I don't like is it only moves 3.7%. Okay, so if you don't mind being in a slower mover, PLTR does move slower than what I like to look at, but it's definitely one that I want on your watch list. And one thing that I have to bring up, guys, I think Tesla's law might finally be over soon. This thing has been setting up new higher lows. There's been multiple times I try to get in I just want you guys to keep your eye on this. I really think that this is a stage one, and I really feel like this might be starting to come out of that stage one and going into a stage two. 
Um, I don't know. What do you What do you guys think? Beef stewy. What, what do you think about this structure? If you're with us, um, sure. do you think this is a more of a stage one going into a stage two, or do you think that this needs more time? I don't know, Dave. That's kind of a hard one. I'm yeah. almost thinking it needs a little time. Um, so I'm gonna put this on the weekly. I I agree with you too, dude. Because like this is a hard one, right? Like if you if you didn't know what time frame this was, you could you would think this kind of looks like a five minute time frame or something, you know? Like it's pretty volatile, absolutely. and this is the weekly time frame. So yeah, I yeah I agree with you. I think we need more time on Tesla. So here's our new higher lows, our three new higher lows. So that looks good for right now, but maybe we just got to tighten up or something, you know? Maybe start to curl a little bit. But yeah, you're right. <clears throat> That's a tough one. Um, but I like Tesla, and I'm going to keep my eye on Tesla. We got, uh, ooh, let's go back to this. That's not one I want to look at. All right, and then another one I want to talk to you guys about, and we need to be really, really careful with this name, and that's Sava. So Cassava Science is a healthcare bioscience thing. This thing will chew you up and spit you the hell out. It does not care about how you feel in the morning, whether you've had your coffee or not. This thing moves 7.9% and will rip your damn face off. Now, if you guys remember, I kind of drew out what I wanted to see happen and it didn't come out picture perfect, but it did kind of play inside of here. Of course, I much rather clear some of this void up top, but it held new higher lows and it is making a nice trend break right now. It's pulling back. I just want to see how this works out. I like these pullbacks. Uh, I really think tomorrow, if the overall market is gapping and things are looking better, I think Sava Science has the opportunity to run back up to $50. So from 30 to 50 would be a good run, um, especially if we look at the overall volume down here, guys. You'll see there's like no volume down here, but if we zoom in here, we get this big blurb. So somebody's buying up Cassava Science in this area if it's got enough volume to push higher. We will have to see if it can, but I don't think it's going to get past 50. Um, and if it does, you know, congratulations to whoever holds. But to me, it's not worth trying to hold on to that, you know. Um, What's the ticker? That was Sava, S-A-V-A. S-A-V-A or Cassava Sciences. This gotcha. one, I learned a lot on Cassava. I really did. I learned a lot about dilution. Uh, about how well the companies can screw over their investors. So you need to be really careful, especially if it's a biotech. Um, they will just dilute the hell out of their shareholders. And if you don't know what dilution is, say five people in a room with a dollar and some guy walks in with $50. Your $1 bill in that room is worth a hell of a lot less because this guy has just diluted your $1 bills with 50 more $1 bills. And that's exactly what they're doing with the stocks uh, shares. They're just magically adding another 150,000 into the metaverse or whatever you want to call it. They're plugging in 150,000 shares into the stock and they're selling them. They're just saying, you know what? We need more money. And they say 150,000 please SEC. And they'll say, sure, granted. And then they sell it and it basically takes your dollar and it divides it further and they keep the rest. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, these biotechs, that's what they have to do. It's like the only thing they can do to make money from it. All right. All right, guys, uh, why don't we wrap things up? Why don't you let me know? Uh, we'll, we'll just make this short. Do you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns? Anything you want me to look up ticker-wise? Anything like that? Because I don't want to leave you guys uh left dazed or confused uh any questions comments concerns i'll take a sip of water while we interject can you hear me oh yeah there you go my mic no. wasn't working yeah I, I, I wanted to interject something uh but the mic wasn't cutting off for me on tesla at the very end on the right side there is a pennant flag forming that is a, a flag that has a straight top and then it comes down to the bottom you know like a pennant flag in the bulk bar sure. and you look at it yeah Yep. At the very at the very tip on the right side. No, no, at the at last, yes, right here, at last bit right there. Yeah, and it and it extends. It has a base right there. So if you if you go like, across it, there's actually like this. Yeah, if you lower it, yeah. Yep. Gotcha. 
Yep. So it. So somebody. I, I don't. Me fighting with my mic. I forgot who it was who said that they thought it needed more days. And yeah. I think they're right based on that. If you look at that as a pennant flag, and actually, if you tighten your pennant flag on the bottom by moving it up and moving it out on the top just a tad, you're looking at like maybe a good three days. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You know, if 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 that comes through, because that pennant flag, if you take that line that's sloping upwards, you can actually go down to that green bar on the bottom. Yeah, the and you can see that it's actually green. been forming. Oh, here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know uh, what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, the green, the green bar. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, we could even go. We could even do something crazy like this. Yeah, you could even go that far. Yeah. Go crazy, bro. Watch out. Yeah, for sure. And then if you zoom out, you could see it. But yeah, there's a million ways to draw these patterns. It's all it. It all depends on what's going to make you money. Me personally, man, yeah. if if I don't see a clean setup, I have a really hard time buying it. There was a few stocks that we were looking at earlier with B Stewie and Dan Bob, and it's just like, eh, you know. And if you do that, it's kind of like, eh, you know, I don't know. It's not a five star. But are they really expecting you know? Tesla to jump again? I don't know. Like this, dude. The, the, all day. the price action in this is kind of tricky. Oh, and Tesla. Yeah, it's oh, it's for sure. to, to me. I find it kind of tricky. Like, it, it looks like it's getting volume, and then suddenly you jump in, and then all of a sudden it turns around on you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, well, you, you almost want to spin dollar market manipulation. Sure. Yeah, I know. Early on, yeah. It just got so inflated so fast <clears throat> that I think the the giant is finally trying to catch up to its price action. You know what I mean? Like, this thing can't just <laughs> yep. trade at four hundred and twenty. And for it to get back up to 420 might take another three years. You know, this thing might well, hold move up. like it, an Amazon, you know, now. You yeah, know? but hold on. Didn't they split the stock? Uh, they did split the stock. Tesla did split. There it goes right there in the middle, the purple. Yep. Two splits, actually. Yeah, they've done a couple of splits. Yeah. All right, let's take when one it was more up in look at range. Meta really quick. Sure. Um, so Meta is absolutely beautiful. I think Meta with APP and PLTR, I think Meta is going to be our MAG7 leader in the overall market. So correct me if I'm wrong. Let's take a look at Apple. Let's take a look at NVIDIA. Let's take a look at MSoft. Let's take a look at... Uh, I think I already did in the video. Yeah. So let's go back to Meta. Look at Meta, guys. This is it. It doesn't. I mean, it is looking good now. Don't get me wrong. I still know that we are at an area of resistance, but we have three new higher lows and a beautiful, beautiful flipping base, guys. What is a five month base? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, five month base. This is what I'm talking about here. This is where dreams are it's made. It's kind of hard to argue with that. Dude, this, this is a leader in the MAG7. And now we just had rate cuts. It's got three new higher loads and a beautiful base at the top. This is one that you need to have on your watch list. Now, it only moves 2.5%, but a lot of us has, have brought up METU. I have not personally bought METU, but it is a 2x bull um, for meta. Um so if you are interested in playing meta and you want it to move faster, this moves 4.8%. So I, I wouldn't watch METU. I would just buy METU and watch meta um, on the breakout. If there is volume on that five minute time frame, if we zoom in, let me just go to this really quick. So if we zoom in on this time, this time frame and we see right here and we break out on volume, let's say we see something like this kind of volume come in through that breakout area during open market hours, you better believe I'm taking that shit. This is, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like if we go back to NVIDIA on that $500 breakout right here, this is, this is the kind of stuff that I'm like, I dream about because NVIDIA was at this price area of $50. Let me just find the area. Sorry guys. Right here. So it was 500 when I was trading it, okay? It's now 50, but this is a six month base that was formed. Let me just draw this out for you. 
okay? Six month base that was formed. I'll just blow this up for you as well. Six month base was formed. Look what happened. It traded, you know, for six months, it was stuck in this base and it gets tighter, makes three new higher lows, one, two, three, and then shoots up through on volume. You better believe I'm taking Meta, 100%. Meta has a five month base. I don't like this, but the carry, the Japanese carry trade kind of screwed everybody, right? If this is when it was, actually, I don't think it was actually, this wasn't it. This was earnings that did this to Meta. Um, this would have been the carry trade, I believe. Regardless, three new higher lows, right? A basing top, just, this looks just like the video where the, the base on the left side was lower than the base on the right side at that $500 area. So if we get volume through this, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm going full account in it. That's just, that's me personally. I'm not telling you that's what you need to do. Matter of fact, don't take this trade. Don't take any of my advice because I could be completely wrong on anything that I'm saying. I'm just a speculator and a dreamer. Um, so that's what we got. Meta. Put it on your watch list, ladies and gentlemen. Um, do we have any other questions, comments, concerns? I want to make sure we are all prepared for tomorrow. Um, I think... I really think the market is going to have some time to like figure out what's going on. I think a pullback, just to kind of smooth things over here, guys, I think a pullback. I think we need to pull back. We need to prove to ourselves that the market does like where it's at. I think it does. I think it has proved itself or want to be up here already right before the rate cuts. I think the overall market priced in very well where it wants to be. But now, right now, using technical analysis, we can see we have an area of resistance. You can see we did not trade that much higher than average volume on a day that should have been extremely volatile. And I think a big push up and a pullback is healthy for the overall market. We don't want the rubber band effect where we go too high, too fast, and then it rips right back down. Although this can be argued that that's exactly what happened. So a pullback following that 10, following that 21 day moving average, let's get to ride in and maybe we can get a nice smooth transition like this beautiful, beautiful bull run that we had in the start of 2020 or the end of 2023. All right, guys, I hope everybody is happy, healthy, definitely healthy. Dan, Bob, my heart goes out to you. I hope everything's going good. Be Stewie, I hope everything's going good. Uh, Erica, Erica, if you're with us, how, how are you, how's everything out there? I know you had the wildfires and all that good stuff going on out there. Is everybody okay, Erica? Yeah, fire is better. My mom was here. Uh, she was evacuated and was here with me for a week and she got to go home last night. So, oh, I'm I very can't. happy to hear that. Very happy to hear that. Yeah. That is terrifying. Yeah, so like I said before, that's yeah. not something we have to we're surrounded by water here in Michigan. So we don't worry about the fires too much where you guys are surrounded by trees that could catch uh if somebody ate the wrong Taco Bell, you know. So uh it's pretty scary right. stuff. So my heart goes out to you. I'm glad your mom's safe. I'm glad you're safe. Um so Yeah, thank you. Be careful, guys. I, I know uh the sickness is going around and stuff, so um well with that being said. I hope you guys have a good night. Uh, we'll see you guys on in the morning tomorrow. If you guys have any questions, just shoot out a chat in the general chat. And for anybody that's watching this at a later time, thank you for making it to the end of the video. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. We are so close to actually making a couple coins off of YouTube. Just trying to get those watch time hours. So we'll see you guys very, very soon. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. And then of course, if you wanna join the Discord so you can be here live, so you can ask the questions with us, so you can hang out, you can be a part of this family. We have two things we ask, an open mind and a golden heart. If you have those two things, join up. Click the more button down below. We have a link tree. Join the Facebook, join the Discord, do it all. We love you. Have a good one. Peace. <laughs>